Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. Now a look at the headlines. Power scam resurfaces in the assembly. Government to recover subsidy of 13 ru crore rupees from the companies. Government informed that Supreme Court has questioned notification granting subsidy. Opposition demands stopping of illegal handling of coal at MPT. Environment Minister assures to take immediate action. Overnight, the Nabai Anganwadi workers demand rise in honorarium. Around 2,600 workers take to streets. BJP to declare its panel for CCP election on Saturday. Prajat Vaingankar replaces Uday Matkaikar in Babushu's panel. Liverpool legend and ESPN star football pundit Steve McMahon to help set up Trojan Football Academy, wants Indian footballer in English Premier League within two years. And national games in Goa by 2014, consultant to be appointed by February and to carry out games work. And now the news in detail. A decade-old power subsidy scam resurfaced in the Assembly. Power Minister Alex Sequeira on Friday assured House that he will send notices to all the industries to recover 13 crore rupees within a month. He also said that the criminal case is pending in a PAX court. Illegal on a app in issue null and void Kelly. Atun a criminal case asli. Ta criminal case is a kid. I do not have the details because that case is being handled by the home department. Itli illegal app in issue null and void karpa karan kidi. Speaker sir, the Supreme Court has held the notifications that were declared illegal were basically because proper procedures were not were not followed. Notifications were issued by the respective department. Notifications were issued by the respective department. And they were not approved by cabinet. No, they had not been submitted to the cabinet. It was approved right. at minister's level Aye. and public. Sarkaran HR Vichar Korso, Kunchit Gazal, the cabinet of Wachashwai, Fure Wotsu Shakana, Gele Barawar Shansahi, Heprakaranatsun, Heami Shiktan. We will now start the process of recovering the amounts from all the parties that had been paid this uh, subsidy, which the Supreme Court has held illegal. Speaker, sir, we are entitled to charge interest once the default in payment of the of the uh, demand. demand. So. I would, I would request the August House to give us 30 days, by which I assure you the notices would be sent to the parties. And what is the amount in world of recovery? I'm not asking the total scope. Well, that was the amount idea. of recovery will be about 13 to 15 crores. I, I, 13 crores something. A principal correspondent, Morari Shetia, Aparna Gamnalkar, with video journalist Anil Senadi for Prudent Media. Opposition demanded stopping of illegal handling of coal at MPT. Environment Minister admitted that the MPT has no consent for handling coal at the port and assured to take action. Chief Minister Digambar Kamath informed the House about a group which is formed to discuss and deliberate on MPT's expansion plans. At this moment, the coal handling is done without consent, right? No consent from the Pollution Control Board. The consent has expired. So the activity is illegal. Why MPT can continue illegal operation? We are talking about only illegal operation. I am not saying you stop MPT altogether. Oh, we have show caused MPT. As a consequence to that, MPT has gone to the High Court. The High Court is monitoring. The High Court is monitoring the case. I am not too sure whether arbitrarily we can we can issue stoppage okay. orders. We have demanded that they sub submit to us a cumulative environment impact assessment report. Which, which MPT initially was not inclined to. 
but, but, but even the report from Ministry of Environment very clearly says, unless this report is done, no activity will be... I will, I will finish. I, know, I think I know what you're coming to. No activity will be permitted. In the meanwhile, MPT has given to the Adani group land for development of expansion activity. We have issued stop, stop uh, work orders. Environment impact assessment or rapid assessment, whatever they call it, should be done through an agency approved by Goa government. Before completion of environment assessment, they should not go for the new JT they are proposing. Speaker, they are sir. already going for soil, soil testing. MPT sometimes does as if they are, first of all, the members of the board, hardly anyone from Goa is appointed. Yeah. There is one. No, we have, we have, no. they have decided to give representations. They have decided. There is one. Number two. Our, uh, number we will take whatever action is to be taken under the environment protection. A principal correspondent Morari Shetia, a Parana Gamunakar with video journalist Anil Senadi for Prudent Media. Around 1,000 Angadwadi workers decided not to go home from Panji till Chief Minister Digambar Kamath assures to look into their demands. For the last four days, Angadwadi workers were having a dharna in Panji demanding regularization. Around 2,600 workers are working in Angadwadi across the state on honorarium. Anganwadi workers on Friday held a mocha in Panji to press hard for their demands. They are demanding immediate increase in honorarium till they are regularized. Anganwadi workers also decided to stay in Panji till Chief Minister Digambar Kamat assures to solve their issue. So they say, as the Natar Abba Kone Jay Consul Minister in Maruna, Zer Shaman was in your Amka Apligic difficulty as a Kiris and Pajasa. Tether Sangla, Zerna, I mean, you work as a Kushat Lelly, take Kono Jonga, Yakta Santapa Nisata, a good worker, and I don't know the quality director of Kadigili. Director and Sangla, Apna Kadizo to me, Memorandum de la Plaka de la Tapne was government at the Pavela, and Apla at the Apla Kayona, Topra Tapunte Warundum de Dila, Pun Atati Santaki, I mean, Rishiama Kadia Banglaria, Munata Shiama Banglarela, Pun Amka Tanga. डिमांड <laughs> Battle lines are drawn for 13th March CCP election. BJP is all set to declare their panel on Saturday. BJP panel will be headed by former CCP Mayor Ashok Naik. Uday Madkaikar was dropped by Babush and now he is replaced by Prajit Vengankar. However, Babush Montserrat has made it clear that he won't drop any other candidate from his panel in the coming days. BJP is planning to contest from all 30 wards for CCP elections. It's a crucial election for BJP and Babush Monsarath. NCP is yet to declare their candidates. Sources say till Friday late night, BJP were yet to finalize the names of their candidates. Ashok Naik will lead the BJP panel. On the other side, Babush has replaced Uday Madkaikar with Prajat Vaigankar. Babush was not happy with the functioning of Uday. But there are no plans of Babush making more changes to the panel. The, from Ward number 18, which I had announced earlier, mm. that um, uh, Vaingankar. Mm. Vaingankar will be contesting in Ward number uh, 17 now. Mangaldas Naik is also being dropped from your panel? No, no. I have never said Mangaldas. So no. Mangaldas will bring you? See, everyone is there in the, in the panel at present. Mm. The one, uh, uh, one change what we have done is in Altin. A mm. senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kanulkar, with video journalist Sunny Narvikar. We'll be back after a short break. Stay tuned.